another AR-15 today. Been shooting this one for a while. I was down at um, down at Robar's facility in Phoenix, Arizona, a couple of months ago, and uh, looked over their operation. You know, Robar's been in business a long time. They uh, do some unique coatings. I've got a 1911 pistol they worked on for me uh, a few years ago, and their NP3 finish and their Roguard are both very durable, hard coatings that goes on firearms. You can go the internal parts, external parts. Uh, the NP3 is a uh, it's like a satin nickel, but it has lubricity in it. it has Teflon impregnated into it, so it's kind of self-lubricating. It's real good on pins and screws and slags and frames, anything that has surfaces that rub together works really well. The Row Guard is a equally well black finish. It works really well. I really like it. They have some other finishes also, but uh, one thing unique to Row uh, Bar's finishes compared to others on the market, uh, Row Bar does not just do firearms. His, uh, his main business is coating parts for the uh, medical and aerospace industries, and for that, he has to hold a really tight tolerances of like one ten thousandths of an inch. Now, uh, that's not necessary on firearms, but by using his finishes on firearms, you get those same uh, standards and tolerances that he has to use in the aerospace industry. Gives you a lot better uh, fit and finish on your firearms as well. But anyway, this is an AR-15 they've come out with. It comes in this good hard case. It ships with two 30-round tangle-down magazines, and it also ships with this uh, vertical grip uh, from Magpul that uh, fastens on the handguard. I, I took it off because I prefer to shoot without it, but uh, if you want it, it's on there. Let me show you a few things about this particular weapon. It has a, first they, they use KSP upper and lower receivers, which is a polymer. And it has a inserts in it where, where it's needed. It's a real good polymer. And what I like about it, it gives a tighter fit and finish than any I've ever seen on any AR. Now on this particular one right here, um, it's in the tan finish. Uh, the ones, uh, the first 50 rifles will be tan. After that, they're going to black. This, uh, Handguard on here is really unique. This is a diamond head handguard. I really like it, but it's a little heavier than they wanted for this. So KSP starting January 2015, they're going to use a KSP handguard on here. Uh, that's very similar to this handguard, and it's going to drop the weight by uh, probably three quarters of a pound by going to that polymer instead of this aluminum handguard. This handguard, of course, got a full length Picatinny rail on it. It's got uh, three more sections of Picatinny rail on here for fastening accessories, lasers, lights, vertical foregrips like in here, that kind of thing. It's got the mag pull flip up sights on it. They're fully adjustable. Uh, front and rear sights are adjustable. It comes with a little adjustable tool. I heard a rattle in this thing when I first got it. I was hearing that rattle and I thought, what in the world is going on inside that gun? But inside this pistol grip, there's a tool to adjust that front sight. So that's what makes that rattling noise. Uh, the small parts on here, your pins, your levers, your screws, trigger, all that stuff is MP3 coated. Uh, so is your bolt carrier and your bolt. It's MP3 coated. Your tube in here is uh, coated also, the in internals on it. So it's really smooth. Everything's going to work really well on this gun. I really like the, some of the features they put on this gun. It's got the, some uh, Magpul uh, furniture on it. Uh, they get, uh, do some unique laser engraving here on the dust cover. It does have the dust cover. It doesn't have a... Uh, forward assist on it, which that's something I never use on an AR-15. If a cartridge does not chamber, I don't want to jam it in any further. I want it out of there. So forward assist is not necessary to me. I do like that they've got the uh, case deflector on here because I'm a left-handed shooter. That really helps. The uh, thickness on this receiver is very thick and durable. Uh, it's been proven that they hold up really well. It's got a good funnel mag well on it. Uh, like I said, it comes with two of these tangled down 30 round mags. It shoots really well. It's got just some, all the nice features, everything you would want on it, they use. It's a premium AR, but it's, it, it's uh, about a thousand dollars less than I thought it'd be when I was looking at this gun. MSRP on this thing's fourteen hundred ninety-five dollars. Got a one-eight twist barrel on it. Uh, got your uh, standard flash suppressor on it, but it's really, really good shooting AR. It comes with sub minute of angle accuracy guarantee, which a lot on the market do not do that. This rifle, uh, as it is with this handguard on it, is about six and three quarter pounds. Now, a lot of uh, ARs are getting too heavy. When they get their polymer handguard on here, they expect it to be just under six pounds, but like it is now, it still handles really well. Uh, it works well. It functions 100% reliably. Accuracy, I got a lot better accuracy than they guarantee, particularly using the Buffalo Bore ammunition. I got uh, some groups down to a uh, half inch at 100 yards. Uh, I had five shot groups that would still hold under an inch. 
as well as the three shot groups that I shot with. It was going so well, I shot some five shot groups also. We'll have pictures of the groups in there for you. But just an uh, uh, excellent AR-15. Uh, and it's, it's as good as any on the market that I know of. It's as good as a $3,000 AR-15, but it's about half the price. And I really like it, and it's available from Robar. And that's uh, robarguns.com.